Thanks for joining us here on 9 News Plus. I'm here with 9 News legend and soon to be <laughs> retired legend, Gary Shapiro. Gary, thanks so much for taking a few minutes of your time to lend us an expert, your kind of insight about yeah. what you've experienced uh, here at 9 News. Uh, first things first, what are you most excited about when it comes to retirement? Ah, oh, there's just so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping in, of course. <laughs> I've been getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning for mm, three decades, maybe? Three yeah, decades. Yeah, three decades. And, and, and walk us through your journey here at 9 News. How long yeah. have you been here and what you've done. I know you've done various right. roles. Walk us through that. Yeah. So I've been here 39 years. Uh, you know, I've always wanted to, to work in Denver. That was, that was my goal when I graduated from journalism school in Nebraska, was to try and get a job here. Uh, ended up working in Omaha, ended up working in Wichita, Kansas. I went to graduate school in Iowa. And, um, you know, it was a journey to get here, but finally somebody hired me. And, and I wanted to work in Denver because not only is it a terrific TV market, but you know, I'm a skier, so <laughs> so I wanted to do some skiing, you know, so it was a little bit selfish. Uh, but anyway, I came and, and my first job was in the Boulder Bureau. I was a reporter. We had four bureaus at that time in the state. One of them was in Boulder. Uh, and then uh, they brought me to Denver and I was a reporter in Denver. Uh, I was the 10 p.m. reporter, so I went from 10 p.m. to the morning show, which was you know, which was quite a surprise for me. The alarm goes off <laughs> when? Um, anyway, uh, in 1989, uh, Butch Montoya, the news director, uh, gave me the job as, as morning anchor. And uh, I thought, well, it's a great morning show. I'll give it a year or two. <laughs> and 32 years later, here I am. <laughs> 32 years later. Well, I, I guess one thing that comes to mind, kind of going back to your maybe childhood a little bit, and something yeah. that kind of interested me in something you just said. You said you always wanted to come to Denver. You mm -hmm. mentioned skiing. Was, was skiing the primary kind of allure for you in terms of coming here? Or it was actually it? was, huh. yeah. My family in Nebraska, you know, if you live in Nebraska and you want to ski, you come to Denver, right? Yeah. And so uh, we did a lot of uh, family vacations out here and that sort of thing. And, and when I was in college, I came out to uh, visit a lot and, and um, just fell in love with the area. And, and I'm still in love with the area. I think it's great. And you plan to stick around here in the Denver Plan area? to stick around for sure. Matter of fact, Funny you ask, I'm going to be doing some part-time work for Channel 9 <laughs> next year. So uh, you'll see me uh, once in a while. I'm going to be doing some Positively Colorado features that will run on the morning show. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of specials a year. And uh, so I get to keep my hand in it. I just don't have to get up at 2 a.m. Now oh, that's, I think, pretty nice yeah. to hear about that. Um, how has 9 News itself, I would imagine it's evolved and changed oh, a little my. bit over the years. Give us some stories or maybe some yeah. background about what it was like when you first started here. Yeah, everything has changed, <laughs> except I think the quality of the station. We were still a really good station in 1983 when I started. But uh, as far as technology and the way we do things, I mean, everything has changed. Uh, we used to, you know, carry these cameras that, and, and I shot uh, a video when I first started at Channel 9. I was, I was, you know, they called them one-man bands then. Uh, now they're backpack journalists, but it's the same thing. Uh, anyway, uh, so we had like probably 50-pound cameras, and it was attached to a 30-pound recorder that was about this big. And then you had to wear a belt that was batteries around your waist. And then you had to wear another belt on top of that that was the light on top of the camera. And so you're walking around with like 80 pounds. And, and I said to myself, as soon as I get the chance to be a reporter, I'm going to be a reporter and not a <laughs> photographer. And, and uh, that uh, chance came. And, uh, and and I uh, made a career out of it, so it's all good. And a darn good one at that, I must Thank say you. so myself. Um, done hundreds, thousands of stories, yeah. perhaps over the years. Any favorite or favorites that stick out off the top of your head? Oh, there are so many. Uh, I just, uh, so many stories. You know, I think my favorite stories are the stories uh, believe it or not, that, that we did on, on community involvement, things like Nine Cares mm -hmm. Colorado Shares and, and, and raising money for, um, you know, uh, food banks around the area that we still do to this day, by the way. And uh, those kind of stories, it just, uh, uh, community involvement has been so great. The viewers have been so great. We asked them for money 
and they give us money to help our neighbors. And, and it's so cool to do stories on that. But then there have been uh, other features that I've done. Uh, one of them that I, that I put online is uh, photographer Dave Delosier and I went up to Kersey, Colorado, and we did a story on a guy, a farmer up there that had all this land that he wasn't using, so he built a baseball diamond. <laughs> and he built it for his son because his son was a baseball player. And, they, and it's beautiful. It really is Field of Dreams, only it's a real thing. <laughs> and and uh, leagues from Denver, wooden bat leagues, go up there, high school leagues, and, and they play ball up there. And it's, it's still in use to this day, and we did that story in 2002 so wow so yeah. 20 years ago and they're still using it they're still building. using it yeah that's stunning that's got to be so it's cool so cool. many different kinds of stories where you know you've been here for such a long time at right. this point that you've kind of seen those stories kind of morph and develop over the yeah. years as well seen uh, yeah tons of stories and and i think features were all my always my favorite story you know mm -hmm. Uh, but, you know, and then, of course, uh, I've been here so long, I've seen a lot of news along the way, and some of it wasn't always so great. And so the, the, the stories that stick out in my mind are the Columbine stories, you know. I mean, when, when that happened, uh, we felt just like the rest of the community. We didn't really know what was going on at the time. And as we learned more information as Columbine was happening, it was just, it was horrible information. And uh, we reacted the same way everybody else did. But that was, that was a big story because it was the first big school shooting. And everybody thought, well, we've learned so much from what happened at Columbine that, that you know, this won't happen again. And, you know, sadly, it's, it's happened dozens of times since. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, obviously, so many s sad stories as well, yeah. as you mentioned. Um, I guess one thing that I, I kind of want to ask you a bit more about is, also, how much do you anticipate, um, I guess maybe looking back over the years, what's been your favorite part about working here at 9U specifically? Any specific reason? Is it, is it the people? Is there yeah. anything that sticks out? Yeah. Well, obviously, it's the people. I mean, it's the people, and, and I would say it's the people and the viewers. Mm. You know, and I explained a little bit about the viewers earlier that, that are always so willing to help us out. But I have worked with some of the most talented uh, people in the business at this station. Uh, Channel 9 really is and, and still is an elite station. It was when I got here in 1983. I was so lucky to get this job. Uh, it still is today. I mean, they, they spend a lot of time hiring the best people and and I've worked with great great photographers that you know I do some of these features and everybody's like oh my gosh that was such a great feature and it's like you yeah the editor made it a great feature <laughs> you know it wasn't so great on paper but uh, it came out looking really good um, what, what's interesting too is you, you mentioned you started as a photographer so maybe yeah. you have a bit of a special a unique appreciation for I think the I back do. end that goes to that. Right? I think I do. Yeah, I think I know what, what photographers go through. I think when I write, I keep in mind what's the photographer going through, uh, what what shots uh, would this photographer think I should use, that sort of thing. So I, th I think you're right. I think that does help, and I think that helps any any writer in this, in this visual business. Um, but yeah, I mean, writers, producers, uh, directors, um, you know, audio engineers, lighting people. I mean, I've just, I've, I've worked with the best in the business and it's just been such a pleasure. Well, and now you get to kind of pick and choose your role as well too. You yeah. get to do some I'm more positive lucky. stories. Jenna Lyon offered me that gig and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. That's and I awesome. don't have to wake up at 2 a.m. for this. And I don't have to wake up? Yeah, I'll do that. It's awesome. <laughs> well, Gary, congratulations. Thanks, man. Well done on uh, 39 it's, years it's here. It's been great working with you. Hasn't been that long. Hasn't been, you know, 39 years, but it's been fun. <laughs> Year and a half of those 39, but uh, it's yeah. been a pleasure, Gary, and uh, best of luck in retirement. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it.